Hi everybody. Hello. Good morning. This is a how does your partner feel about you spread for the collective. So this is for all signs. Okay. This is for all signs. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Thank you subscribers for coming and subscribing to my channel. I really do appreciate that. Don't forget if you haven't subscribed to hit the big subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the all notification ring and ding a ding bell. So you won't miss out on any of the videos that I have to upload for you guys. And you will always be notified. And do me a favor. Do me a small favor, okay? Give me a big thumbs up, okay? It doesn't hurt to get in this work, okay? Just give me a big thumbs up, alright? And like I said, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out a lot, you guys. Alright, so we're going to see how your person feels about you. This is for the collective. This is for all signs, okay? So, playfulness, okay? We got playfulness here for you guys. Um, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Okay, so your person may feel like um, you play too much or there was some type of playfulness with you. This may be a new love. Alright, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So this may be someone new that you guys are dealing with. And I feel like for you guys, this person feels like this could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek. So I do feel like this, the person uh, that you're dealing with feels like they already they already met the romantic partner that they seek. They feel like you could be the one. I do feel like um, this situation involves marriage. Okay, so someone here could have been married or you or they are thinking about marriage. They feel like you're worth waiting for, but it's all in divine timing. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Alright. So let's see what other messages Spirit has for you and your partner. Let's see how your partner may feel about you. Okay. I already shuffled off camera, but I'm going to shuffle one more time. Alright. Now let's cut this deck for you guys. Let's see how your partner feels about you. Take what resonates. Leave the rest. If it doesn't fit, don't make it what? Stick. Yes. Let's see. Let's see how your partner feels right now about you. Okay? I hope you are having a wonderful morning. I just saw somebody with their coffee and their... What is that? A Danish or a, um, oh my God, those, those, those things, um, oh my gosh, I, I'll think of it, but I saw a cup of coffee and like a Danish or something on the side, alright, don't get me started y'all, okay, cause I ain't got no coffee this morning, I got some water, your person feels like you turn your back on them, okay, um, this may be someone at a distance from you, they feel like you're looking to see what else is out there, you're looking to expand, you're looking to explore, okay, um, I feel like you're dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or this may be you for some of y'all, um, I do feel like this person wants, wanted you to wait for them, and I feel like you guys were waiting for them, you guys were waiting for your ships to come in, you guys were waiting on this person, but I do feel like, um, they may be feeling like you're worth waiting for with that with that worth waiting for card that we had. I'm going to show you guys. Okay. They feel like you're worth waiting for. And so they are. Someone here is waiting on you. Okay. But it's divine timing. Right. Divine timing is at work in your love life right here. This person is spying on you. Okay. This person is spying on you on your social media because they feel left out in the cold by you. And they're having some regrets. Okay. They're having some regrets. They, your person feels like they left you out in the cold. Alright. And they do feel like they've abandoned you or neglected you or just had you feeling left out and they know that. And so they are, are regretting some things. Okay. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. 
there's a bonus cards okay I do feel like your person is all up in their head about you, feeling stuck, feeling trapped, replaying what happened over and over again in their mind. I do feel like for some of you guys, your partner is in prison, okay? But I do feel like they feel like a men they're in a mental imprisonment of their own thoughts. So this person, this person may be having negative thoughts about about you or the situation. But I do feel like um. Some of you may have blocked this person, so it's like a lack of information or blocked communication between you two. But I do feel like someone was blindfolded in a sense. I do feel like your person um, may have gaslighted you. And so um, they feel like they can't move, but they can move. It's, it's all mental. They feel like they're stuck in a situation that they can't get themselves out of. All right. And I do feel like this person, they feel like you have um, gone off into a new direction. Okay, you are taking that leap of faith into a new direction and doing something new. However, I feel like your person is a free spirit. They might be stuck in their head about them not wanting to um, commit to you for some, guy, for some of you. Okay, this person is non-committal. All right, commitment is not their style. However, I do feel like they want you to take a leap of faith towards them. Or they're taking some type of risk to um, come towards you, take a leap of faith. But I do feel like this person is all up in their head, replaying things over and over again in their mind. Feeling stuck, trapped, or stuck in a situation that they can't get out of. For some of you guys, this person may be in prison, right? And I feel like this person feels like a fool, with the fool card, they do feel like a fool. They feel like a fool for breaking your heart, three of swords. This could have been involving a third party situation. All right, more air energy. Um, but I do feel like this, this, this um, caused your person a lot of heartache and pain because they do know that they broke your heart right here due to a third party situation. All right. And I do feel like your person wants to send you messages of love. They want to tell you how... They want to express their love for you and tell you that they love you. Okay? This is messages of love. I do feel like you guys are dealing with a Pisces. Um, this person may be younger than you or you're younger than them. I do feel like your person feels like you're immature or emotionally immature for some of you. Um... <laughs> But I do, like, really, <laughs> I heard somebody say really, but I do feel like um, this person is very curious to know what is going on with you. That's your confirmation. All right, something just clicked here. I do feel like this person is curious to know what's going on with you, but I feel like you're using your intuition about the situation or this person is needing to use their intuition about the situation. I do feel like this person wants to put in the work and put in the effort towards you. Okay, your person may feel like you're throwing yourself into your work right now. Okay, you can be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, your person is. Um, but I do feel like your person is feeling like you're throwing yourself into your work. But they do want to come in and put in the work, put in the effort towards the relationship. Let's see what other messages that Spirit Guides have for you, okay? Yeah, like I was saying, I can't lie to y'all, okay? I do feel like you blocked this person. You got this person on block, all right? And you're not, you're closed off and blocked off to them. That's how they feel about you. Like, they feel like you blocked them and you're closed off to them. Like, your heart chakra is just closed off to them, all right? And I feel like, again, this person is blindfolded. So I feel like your person may have gaslighted you, okay? But I do feel like they were refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things. They want to know what's going on with you. They have not a lick of a, of, of a clue what's going on with you. And I feel like it's because you blocked them and you blocked off and closed off towards them. Yeah, they feel like you're closed off because you want to go on and be single, okay? Um, you want to go on and be single and live your best life. They do feel like... Um, you're very independent and you're very um, stable and like you don't need them. But I do feel like um, they know they broke your heart. 
All right, so I feel like they 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 feel like you want to be single because they broke your heart due to a third party situation. And and this um the three of swords was appearing here twice. So you guys may be leaving this person behind, or that's how they feel about you. Why the three of swords here? Thank you, spirit. Oh, something else flipped over, and something else, and something else. Okay. Well, those are just bonus cards. I only need one. Four cards came out. So I do feel like you may have been dealing with this person for, I don't know, <laughs> um, nine years, three months, three weeks, um, <laughs> um, eight weeks, eight months. Yeah, but um, they know that they broke your heart due to a third party situation. Okay. And they feel like... Um, this is a broken marriage for some of y'all. All right. This person is married. Or um, they just feel like. This is like something broken. Something unstable. Um, this person may be going through heartache and pain. Because they're losing money over the situation. But I do feel like. Their heart, they, they, they know they broke your heart. And it's caused like some type of broken foundation. Between the two of you. I feel like. They're feeling like they broke your heart. And you don't want a family with them. You don't want a legacy with them. You don't want to start anything with them. Alright. They're losing money. And they feel like this is a broken home. Or a broken situation. And I do feel like someone has moved forward. Someone may have moved forward. Um. They may be moving forward with their wife or spouse, okay, someone they live with, share resources, property with, and it may have brought in a tower moment, okay? It's like chaos and drama and um, a misheaval, upheaval of um, events that has happened. It happened unexpectedly. Yeah, they, they, were, they moved forward with someone from, someone that's providing for them financially, that they um live with, share resources, property with, and um that brought in a tower moment for you guys, for some of you. Why is the page of cups here? Clarify the page of cups for the collective. How does this person feel about their person? How does this person feel about you? Clarify the page of cups. This may have been for some of you guys, this was somebody new, like fresh off the boat. I'm not saying like boat, like, you know, I'm not trying to make fun. Maybe they were fresh off the boat, but I do feel like this was somebody new. Why is the page of cups here? Clarify the page of cups for the collective. How does this person feel about you? How does this person feel about you? Clarify the page of cups for the collective. Wow, it's not... Alright, so maybe this person is unsure if they want to send you these messages of love because there's no nothing coming out, but let's see. They want to they want to send you some type of message. Okay, they want to send you some type of news or message of love. Um they want to work on things with you. They want to work together with you. Okay. This may have resulted in there may be a third party, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, all right? Uh, for some of y'all, this person is sending messages of love to um, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Somebody they're working things out with. For the rest of you, they do. They feel like they want to send you messages of love. And they want to work on things with you. They want to work things out with you. This may be happening or this is something that is coming up, okay? And um, be on the lookout for that. If you do want to receive this message or this news, they're going to send you. They're going to try to build up the confidence and the courage to send you some news or message. I do feel like they're trying to send messages and then they're deleting them, okay? But I do feel like they're, they're going to, um, they want to send you some news or a message, right? That's going to, it's, it's, it's something that's going to have them feeling very inspired. Um, they're trying to build up the courage and the confidence to send you this news or this message. Alright. For some of you, you may have discovered something about this person. 
but I do feel like they want to send you some type of news or a message. All right. If this is not well, yeah, this is definitely them. Could be dealing with a um Leo Aries Sagittarius here. Let's see why the Eight of Pentacles is here. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Thank you. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for the collective. How does this person feel about them? How does this person feel about you, collective? How does this person feel about you? Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, universal energies. Give me two more cards for how does this person feel about you? How does this person feel about their person? How does this person feel about you? Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Let's go with what fell out first. Yeah. Your person wants to come in and put in the work, put in the effort towards you in the relationship. Okay. I do feel like they want a new beginning with you. There's an offer on the table. All right. They want to... They want to bring something more tangible to the relationship. They want to start something new with you. They want a new beginning with you. This may be about making things more stable, more solid, more committed. So this person may be proposing um, like a proposal, a commitment to you. Or this is something brand new that they want to start with you. There's an offer on the table and they're giving you the big pinnacle. All right. So that big pinnacle is definitely something tangible, something that is solid. Um, they want to give you. They want to give you um, a new beginning here. They want a new beginning with you. Yeah, they want a new beginning with you. And I feel like for a lot of you, you're throwing yourself into your work because it's gonna pay off. You guys are gonna make a whole lot of money here with that Ace of Pentacles. I just wanted to throw that out there. But again, this person wants to put in the work and the effort towards you. And they want a new beginning with you. And they're rushing in. They're rushing back in. They want to rush back in. But they feel like you are going to go ham and going to go off on them because of what happened between you guys in the past here. Yeah, and they're not happy about this news or this message that's coming in with the Knight of Swords. You could be dealing with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I do feel like they're not happy, okay, because they feel like they want to rush in. They want to rush back in to give you some news or a message, but they feel like you're going to go off and you're going to go ham on them, and this could have happened already. Um, you two had some words, but whatever was said was the truth. It was facts, but they do want to rush back in because they're not happy. They're not happy that they made you unhappy. Okay, could be dealing with the Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I do feel like they want to be happy with you again. They want to be happy. They're not happy with what's happened between you guys. With this news or this message or whatever has happened. They, they're not happy. So they want to rush back in. They want to put in the work and the effort towards you. They want to have a new beginning with you. And they're trying to rush back in. But they, they're not happy. All right. They're not happy that there's no passion between the two of you. There's a lack of passion. <clears throat> I do feel like for some of you, this person was not ready for what you were ready for. There's a lot of potential growth between you two, but I feel like right now, this person doesn't see any potential or any growth happening between um, you two in the relationship. There's no passion. There's no... Um, those you guys are not even having sex with each other. There's nothing going on here right now. The passion is gone, and they're not happy. They're not happy because you have drawn out their um, sexual desires, and it's not happening anymore. And they are unhappy that there's no passion between you two. There's nothing happening. Yeah, they feel like you're guarded. Your walls is up. Your guard is up because you are wounded. And you're tired of being hurt by people, you know. You're tired of going through the bullshit with people. But I do feel like this person sees you as guarded, as wounded. You know, you're not really trusting the situation or this person has trust issues. But I do feel like they're not giving up on you, alright. They're, they're, not, they're not wanting to give up on you. 
All right. Yeah, they don't want to give up on um, the situation here. But I do feel like you are... Um, this person feels like they pushed you away. This person feels like they definitely pushed you away with the Seven of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. And I feel like you're standing your ground. You're, you're fighting for yourself. All right. They may have spread some rumors or gossip about you. But I feel like... You are standing your ground. And this person feels like you're pushing them away because you're protecting yourself. You don't want to be hurt again by them. You're protecting your heart space. Yeah. Uh-huh. I feel like you're demanding truth and clarity from this person. Yeah, energy. You're standing firm in your decisions that you're making. This person may have pushed you away and gave you the cold shoulder. They, I feel like. But they're waiting for you. They're waiting on you and um, they're spying on you. They're spying on your social media trying to figure out what you're up to. Because they know that um, they left you out in the cold. They may have been left out in the cold by somebody else. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And I feel like um, this person may have a broken mindset or a scarcity mindset to... As um, they have a loss or a lack here. They may be lacking in finances. This person may be having financial issues. Okay. And they feel very regretful and remorseful. Of what they did to you in the past. This may have been like. This is the five of cups. So this may have been like. Three days ago. Three weeks ago. Three months ago. Or three hours ago. You know. Take it how it resonates. They are they are very disappointed and regretful at what they have done. Somebody have may have have left them out in the cold, feeling abandoned, neglected, and they are having regrets now. Okay, because they know that you made them happy, right? And they made you happy, and they want to make you happy. They want to have fun with you. They want to they want to see a playfulness. You know. They want that playfulness with you. I'm going to bring that card back out. Here we go. They want to make you happy again. They want to see a playful energy. They want to get back in your good graces is what I'm hearing. Thank you, Spirit. They want to get back in your good graces. But I do feel like you blocked this person. You're closed off and you've walked away from them, okay? Due to a bunch of secrets and things being hidden. This person feels like, you know, they know they hid things from you. They kept secrets from you. And you, now you, you know, you've walked away from them. And they're having a lot of fear and confusion going on in their element right now. You could be dealing with their Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. This person, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, they want to come back towards you. They want to apologize to you. And they want to extend a cup of love to you. And they want to move forward with you in a sense emotionally. They want to give you a cup of love. And I do feel like they're rushing back in to do so. Alright. This person may be arguing with someone that they're married to. Someone that they share resources, property with. Someone they live with. Okay. There's maybe cutting words between them and this person. Okay. This may be going on at this person's home. But I do feel like they want to bring you some type of peace and joy again. Okay. This is a twin flame. They know that you were their twin flame. And this person wants to propose to you. They want to offer some type of engagement or some type of proposal to you. Okay. And that is the truth. Alright. That's the truth. And I feel like they're rushing back in. They're rushing back in towards you. Okay. Because they want to nurture the situation. They felt like you were focused on them. And they and you were giving your all to them. But I do feel like they want to nurture the situation with you again. Right? And, 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 and I feel like... There were some messages that came out or some news that came out that you didn't like. Okay? And it was about this spouse or this wife right here. I just need to throw that out. And the truth came out. And if you felt stabbed in the back, and they know they stabbed you in the back. They know that they did this. They they absolutely know. Okay? It's not like they don't know. They know that they did that. They did some fucked up shit right here. And they were hiding secrets. 
and hiding information from you. You know that. And they know that too. Okay? And I do feel like you're using your intuition at this time because this person stabbed you in the back. They did you dirty. And they know you. they did this to you. They know. And they're feeling like completely let down by the situation. Alright? Because they hid things from you. They kept secrets from you. And they want to... I feel like they want to rush back in passionately towards you with the Knight of Wands. But this person may be flighty in and out energy, not knowing what they really want in a relationship. And that's why you cut their ass out. You cut them off. There's definitely a twin flame. Okay, 11-11. You may be seeing 11-11 a lot. 11-11 again. All right. Be aware of the abundance that's coming into your lives, collective. This was an abundance of 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 love. This was an abundance of passion, abundance of happiness and joy. Four four is here twice. You guys may be seeing the numbers four four a lot, or four forty four, or two 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 two, or eleven eleven. This is like a new beginning they want to have with you. They want to propose to you. They really want to make an announcement. They want to bring you some type of joy, peace, and harmony again. They want to be happy with you. They want to celebrate with you. Alright? They do because they, they realize that once you cut them off, they realize that you are their twin flame. Alright, let me look for that card again. This could be the one. Okay, they're right there. This could be the one. They feel like you're the one. You're their twin flame. Yeah, that's what they feel like. But you ghosted them. Yep. And they want a second chance. They do. But I feel like you're making a final judgment to hold back from them. You're holding back and you're holding off. You two may not be speaking at the moment or they're not you're not they're not telling you how they feel. They're keeping things close to their chest, like they're keeping their emotions repressed here. But I do feel like this person wants to move forward with you. They want to come towards you and they want to work things out with you. They want to work on things with you and they want to close out this cycle with you. They do. They want to close out this cycle with you. And they're trying to build up the courage to see you this news or this message because they feel like you ghosted them. And they want to come in and, you know, confess something to you. This person may be married or they want to take your relationship to a higher level of commitment. This is someone new, a Pisces. They have a lot of love and emotion for you. They want to send you messages of love. They want to confess. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much. They want to confess their love to you. They want to confess their emotions to you, how much they love you. Yeah. Wow. Okay. They feel like it's a burden on them. They feel like it's burdening them. You're making things hard for them by holding back. They don't want you to hold back from them. But it's due to the secrets and hidden information that they kept from you. Hmm. Let's go to the romance um, oracle and find out what other messages. What other messages do you have for the collective? How does this person feel about you? How does this person feel about you, collective? Whether you're man or female, take it how it resonates. And don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button, you guys. That will really help me out here, okay? I do love when y'all hit the big red subscribe button. It brings all y'all energies in and it just makes everything so wonderful, okay? Yeah, this, this situation involves marriage. This may be, um, they may be married already, like I said, or they want to marry you, okay? Marriage is on their brain. Yeah, this is a new love. I told y'all, where's that, where's that, uh, page of cups? A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Look at this. 
for some for a lot of y'all, this was somebody new that came into your life. And they stirred your romantic feelings. They were sending you messages of love, you know, um, expressing the emotions for you. This was some new love. This was someone new. They want to marry you. They either want to marry you, this new love, or they're already married. Yeah, but I feel like they want to marry you. They want to they want to commit they want to commit to you this new love. They do. They want to commit to you. That's how they feel. All right, collective. This lasted a little longer than I, than I expected, but I feel like you guys needed all your messages. Thank you so much you guys for coming into the channel. Um if you are new, welcome. Thank you guys. Okay, I really do appreciate that. Cross watchers again. Uh, don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button, okay? It will really help me out a lot. And don't forget to hit the all notification, ring a ding a ding bells. If you guys could just do me that favor, that would really be so appreciative, okay? And one last thing. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up. That would really help me out a lot to let me know that you guys like this reading, okay? It will not hurt to put in that work, okay? And like I always say, if it doesn't fit, don't make it what? <sighs> Dig, okay? Take what resonates and leave the rest. If you want a message to be specifically for you, again, um, send me a message through my email. It's in the description box down below underneath the video. If you want a personal reading, they are $50. And the special is being extended until the 4th of July, okay? So after the 4th of July, it's no more $50 specials. This is the deal of a lifetime. Come get your personal reading, your love reading. That's confirmation for y'all, okay? Come get your reading if you want this to be specifically for you. In the meantime, donate to the channel, okay? My cash app is in the description box down below. I love you guys so much. And if, nobody's have, if nobody has told you they love you today, collective, I'm telling you that I love y'all. I love each and every single last one of y'all. And until next time, bye, babies.